So there you go, now you know how much you need on a day-to-day -day basis. But the next question is, well, how do I know how much I am eating? Well, we live in a technological area, don't we? There's fantastic apps that you can monitor if you're consistent, such as MyFitnessPal or the Fitbit apps that are on your watches. And then if you're consistent, you can actually get a good reading as to the macros, such as protein, carbs and fats. It's going to give you a reading day to day. But for those technophobes, a little less inclined to use apps and whatnot, think about this. Work out how many grams you need on a day to day basis. And then look at how many meals you're eating on a day to day basis. Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? Divide that out. Look at food labels. How much protein does it have in the meal that you're eating? But if you're eating out, you're not using food labels. Here's an idea. A piece of meat, a decent sized piece of meat, such as a chicken breast. You've got anywhere between 35 and 45 grams of protein right there. So then how many meals are you eating? And actually what are you accompanying it with? Once you've had that, go home, have an idea as to what you had. Maybe it's rice or it's there's some kind of veg. Work out, well, does, does it have any miscellaneous bits of protein on top? Some grains are actually high in protein. And then just work it out at the end of the day. It's not a massive exact number. You don't need to hit exactly 1.8 to 2.2, right? But over a long period of time, if you're nearer that zone than way under it, it's going to make a massive difference. So one, don't stress about it. And two, try to be consistent. And consistent action over a long period of time is going to yield far greater results than trying to be perfect. Till next time.